Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. I'll be reading today on the government shutdown. I have done a, a reading prior to this uh, on the shutdown, which showed that Trump would eventually uh, take some kind of proposal. Um, but it's been going on now for, uh, you know, things are starting to, be, to become a little bit desperate. I've read various stories uh, concerning government workers calling in sick, which potentially could... Um, you know, there's a need for caution here. Uh, so as the longer it goes on, the worse it gets. Uh, I, before I start, I just want to thank you for your comments on my feed. Um, and particularly those that uh, I did a reading yesterday on Rupert Murdoch's impact on uh, politics, elections, government policy um, in the U US, the UK and Australia. As we know, Rupert Murdoch owns Fox News. He owns Sky News in Australia and, and the UK as well. He is an Australian born citizen. Coincidentally, um, today during uh, I was scrolling through my news feeds, I came across an op-ed from a former Australian Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd talking about the very things that uh, came out in the reading yesterday. And it is in relation to Rupert Murdoch's impact, effect, influence uh, for the worse uh, on politics in the US, Australia and UK. I've pinned that to the comments feed on underneath that particular reading because I saw that as validation from Spirit that that was an indeed a very important subject to read on. So, without further ado, um, let's go to the government shutdown. It's becoming increasingly worrying. I've got some questions that I want to go through here, viewers. Um, so, um, if you go, if you want some background, go back and have a look at the last reading that I that I did. Some interesting things have have come forward. I've also read on how the Democrats in the House are going to be handling things moving forward, um, and Trump is their biggest o obstacle. That came uh, out very very clearly. Until he until he goes, it's going to be hard work for the Democrats. However, Nancy Pelosi has an iron grip on things, um, and she's coming across as. Uh, as someone very much in control, I think she's a force to be reckoned with. But the questions that I'll be asking on the shutdown today, why is Trump putting the country through this government shutdown? I want to have a look uh, at a psychological perspective here and also see what else might emerge from that um, murky pond that we dive into when we look at Trump's uh, psychology, the psychology of Donald Trump. Also want to look at are there any kickbacks for him based on readers' comments. One reader suggested, uh, brought forward some um, uh, information regarding a Russian oligarch who potentially will benefit um, from, from the building of the wall. Um, and also what will cause him to back down, which is a, a subject that government workers are obviously... Uh, it's a question government workers are asking themselves, and I think it's a, increasingly a question that the American public will be asking as well. So let's go to the government shutdown. Let's go to Donald Trump. Our first question, why is Donald Trump putting the US through this government shutdown? Why is Donald Trump putting the US through this government shutdown. Donald Trump, what are his motivations? All right, straight away we've got the magician coming forward, which is an indication of, uh, you know, the uh, he's playing around with this. Um, he doesn't really care whether there's a wall or not. This is the dirty tricks to coming forward here. Um, this is a whole range of things uh, from diversion, diversion away from Moolah. Uh, it's also, I'm getting the impression, it's like a stopgap as well. While ever uh, the, the wall is occupying um, people's thoughts and minds, they're off the Mueller investigation. But also the machinery of government grinding to a halt uh, is somehow, um, it's sort of like throwing a, 
a grenade off in in a particular direction so that there's an explosion there um it's all it's it, 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 if he could start a war to stop the Mueller investigation, he would. Uh, it's that kind of thing. It's it's not just a diversion, according to media reporting and uh, and the information coming out, all that people are focusing on. It's actually a very very real strategic diversion away from the Mueller probe. More information might come out on that later, but there is the magician card, the dirty tricks, tricks to emerging. Uh, so far from this reading and the sixth of pentacles interesting um this is loans and debts loans and debts and it's generosity as well well generous to whom loans and debts to whom okay why is he putting the u.s through all of this it appears that there is some kind of monetary aspect to this reading so far um, has he promised someone, it needn't necessarily be Russia or the Russian oligarch, it could be uh, big business, it could be um, those that might tender and contract for the, the wall, uh, you know, we'll go to kickbacks a little bit later on, but already this is suggesting that there is a financial um, issue here that's motivating Trump to stick to his guns in relation to the wall and that's further um, further validated I guess by the Queen of Pentacles now the Queen of Pentacles is coming up a lot in readings my readings other readings that I have been watching in relation to the wall in relation to Donald Trump now you know straight away we go to big business and big business women um that would be the logical uh, i guess logical answer here but i think this is more um more talking about the resourcefulness of donald trump when it comes to business and finances so there is a financial aspect to this wall he's been thwarted so far uh, and now he's resorting this is almost like a last resort for donald trump um this has nothing to do with border security, nothing whatsoever. This has to do with money and dirty tricks. Again, the money card's coming up as the Ace of Pentacles, which is in new income sources. And it's, uh, it's, it's mirroring uh, the magician here, okay? The dirty tricks, why? For new income sources. Things happening quite quickly uh, and strongly uh, in relation to these loans and debts. I'll let the chariot, uh, the chariot card, just sit there for a minute, and we'll see what that might uh, might might mean. Because my hunch here, or my intuition here, is that, that some information might emerge, which actually causes, or about is about to emerge, which actually uh, may uh, cause a change in direction for Trump. The two of rods, okay, the two of wands, this is waiting for results and so I think there is this aspect uh, in relation to Trump. He's, he actually is going to take it as far as he can and he's going to wait to see what what how the electorate reacts um, before he makes a choice. There's, this is, can also be the card of overseas. So this, this, the querent is looking out, looking out overseas. It can can also mean travel and planning. So there could be uh, some Russian um, benefit here from the wall. New income sources. This is for Trump. The four of rods here. Uh, often, uh, you know, this comes up in relation to to the house of Trump. Um, that and the Ten of Pentacles seem to rep be representing for me in these cards Trump's own private wealth here. So this is what it's all about. This reading's quite clear. I don't even need to ask if there's any kickbacks because the for Trump because the information is coming out already. Now the Knight of Wands are uh, mirroring the chariot. This is interesting because what this actually uh, can, I mean, what this can actually mean is, I mean, the Nine of Rods is, is talking about um, boundaries and it's, it's the test of courage. So if we look at the meaning of the chariot, the chariot's coming forward with strong and quick action and then we're looking at boundaries here. 
I think, that, again, there's going to be some sort of information that Trump has overstepped his boundary, that has gone beyond. Now, is that our journalists currently, is the media currently working on stories in relation to particular contracts and tenders that may have been benefiting from the wall? I think this is what this is going to... I think there could be more information or further information coming out and expose on exactly who will benefit from this wall. What is the big business interest behind? I mean, we're talking billions and billions of dollars. How? Who's going to benefit here? Something's going to be emerging, which which is suggesting that Trump has overstepped his boundaries. We've got the new beginnings here. We've also got the full, uh, which is an interesting card to pull um, in relation to this resourceful, this financial resourcefulness that... When we say resourcefulness, I'm talking about Trump's business, the way that he that there's a dollar in everything for Donald Trump, um, and there's this overseas aspect here to this card. It could be again in relation to this potential information that's going to come out, which is actually going to show the reason why he wants that wall uh, to the uh, the extent that he, he has. I mean, really, honestly, what gall uh, Donald Trump actually has to, to be doing this? And what are the Republicans? Do the Republicans know about this? Because it, it appears that there is a financial aspect to the wall um, it, and it appears that... Um, that there are particular contractors or big business that will benefit from the building of this wall. We've got an overseas perspective here. We, we've got the fact that Trump will benefit personally or, a, you know, possibly, let's say, possibly will benefit. And then we've got overstepping the boundaries and in a quite a strong way. But it appears that there's going to be something coming forward, which again shows how foolish he was, uh, but also uh, this is a new beginning, which means that it might cause him to back down in some way. So, again, thank, thank you to an independent media, uh, and it's why uh, it's cr critical to have diversity in the media and not in the hands of a... Monopoly that is uh, that is in bed with the uh, with the elected official. So remember the iron triangle, which is the uh, big business, um, the elected official, the corrupt elected official, and overseas interests as well. You've got that triangle that Mueller is chasing down at the moment. So um, where do the Republicans stand in all this? Are they aware? You know, what is there? Are they are they benefiting as well? I mean, what do we know about the? What do we need to know about the Republican support for for uh, Trump's stand on the wall? I'm getting um, the images of uh, they're caught up in a wave that they can't escape from, and it's a, it's a fairly tumultuous sea here, uh, and it's almost as if they. You know, while there will be a level of p corruption in any in any political party, there's also an aspect of the the GOP that they really don't know how to extract themselves from this. It's like a sort of like a tsunami, really. Uh, that's that's what that's my feeling. Um, so, are the GOP aware of Trump's motivations for the wall, financial motivations for the wall? Uh, is the GOP aware of Trump's potential financial motivations for the wall? Okay, and it's again this loss card, the Eight of Cups, and what they're, what they're feeling is loss for them at the next election. So they're not really, as I said, they don't really know how to um, get out of this wave, this tsunami that they've they've really created. And, and, and we've got the Seven of Cups, which is the Illusion Delusions card. Um, if you thought the GOP were, um, you know, uh, I guess this high-level think tank, this on the ball, you know, it's showing that they're actually not. They're actually in real trouble here as a result of Trump now being the, the president. 
We've also got the Ace of Rods coming forward, which is the the new starts, okay, and and this is sort of new inspiration. So, they're, the state of their party at the moment, um, I guess the leadership of it, they they're feeling this loss. They're um, they're caught in the illusion of that, I guess, of their own making. But they're also really they've got almost an eye on uh, potential new starts, and I think enter. Um, Mitt Romney and his op-ed. I don't uh, know much about Mitt Romney. I don't support uh, him in any way. Um, but the Republican, it seems like there could be some kind of preconceived um, goal in having Mitt Romney come out against Trump. Because if Trump goes down, then they have obvi and Pence goes down, then they actually have have started to groom someone who could step in there. Um, again, what do they know? The loss, the loss, and the the hermit card is being isolated and left out um, in the wilderness, if you like. This is what they're frightened of. This is why they don't act. Um, Things coming through fairly quickly in relation to illusions and delusions. Does that mean the bubble's going to burst? The the uh, illusion's going to be dispersed or in some way pierced and penetrated? Because we've got the star of hope coming forward here and it's mirroring the new starts. I think um, I've had this strong feeling that Moolah will bring down uh, some uh, more information in in the early part of this year. Uh, I read today also that uh, the grand jury has been extended for another six months because they're hearing new evidence. Don't for one minute think that the wheels of uh, justice are not turning uh, uh, in relation to Donald Trump because they are. But are they turning quick enough? There's uh, damage being done. Um, so let's to the people that are not um, that are not being paid, and to the country and to the U.S. in general. So I'm going now to our final question: What will cause Donald Trump to back down here? What what will cause him? He is the let make no mistake about it. The ultimate responsibility for the shut government shutdown lies with the leader of the country. Last time I looked, that was still Donald Trump. Uh, the Democrats have put forward uh, legislation to the same legislation he already has approved uh, of the spending to keep the government, uh, restart, reopen the government. He's refused to sign it without funding for the war. But what will cause him to back down? OK, I'm getting the eyes, the symbol of the eyes. So the eyes of the country, the eyes of the world penetrating um, they're on him, okay. And as things worsen, they go. They the the, the it, it becomes quite quite strong, uh, and penetrating. Um, so people are actually seeing through the illusions and delusions. And I have a feeling there could be some of more of this information coming out in relation to um, to some kind of where the gain will be, who will financially gain from that war. And there'll be a link there. There'll be some kind of link there to, to Donald Trump. Okay, so what will, what will cause him to back down? What will cause Donald Trump to back down on the wall? Okay, so there's this offer that came forward in my previous reading. Um, so he will, there will be some sort of proposal um, offered to him. In this card, it's much smaller, the cup that's being offered much, much smaller. So there'll be a reduced, in some way, a reduced offer coming forward to him. It might not even be for construction of the wall. It might be for something else. It might be for border security or there might be a give and a take thing here because we've got the endings of, of the government shutdown coming here. This is the, the death card, which is the endings, the endings of the government shutdown. And we've got um, uh, this sort of loss here um, in this endings, in the Nine of Swords. It could be also this is the level of anxiety that is actually starting to be palpable now in relation to the government shutdown. 
And we've got the isolation of Donald Trump here. So he's going to be extremely isolated in his decision to shut down the government. Um, whether we can see that now, there are some Republican senators in marginal seats in 2020 who are actually not supporting the government's shutdown. They see it as, as ridiculous. They see it as no need. There's no need for it. Uh, you know, that, that kind of feeling will spread, particularly in those senators that are up for election in 2020, again, in those marginal seats. He's going to take something there is going to be a proposal that he's going to take and he'll take it because in the end he's going to be isolated and he's going to be battling the five of uh, ro uh the five of uh rods is is very much this um he's going to be challenged also because this is mirroring the ending of the government shutdown he's going to be challenged on it um not just, as I said, uh, by the Democrats, but it's going to be challenged right across the country, OK? The stories are already emerging regarding the air traffic controllers who are working without pay. Uh, they're emerging about the... Um, excuse me. Those that are, uh, do security at airports and scanning are calling in sick. OK, as each day goes by, he's, uh, go, he's facing more and more obstacles to keeping the government shut. So the Night of Rods, the Night of Rods is coming forward as, uh, as freedom. Um, and uh, so there's, there's, there's actually, I guess this is mirroring the, the, the anxiety um, for that, that people are feeling around the government shutdown. We, it, we've got it ending and of course this uh thing's going to be moving back to to normal i guess um those that are, are not being paid there is uh, significant anxiety there for them i'm picking up in this card um and there is considerable relief at the freedom that um will be felt once this government shutdown is is finished um, uh, in relation to he, to Trump being increasingly isolated here, some of these cards came up in the previous reading. I'd actually like like to do a cross reference, but that would take a lot of time. But some of these cards are, are reappearing here. Um, the fight, which really dealt with uh, potentially how uh, this might all pan out. The Five of Swords is uh, coming forward as um, really, I guess his his his. Um, He's really going to be, he's going to have a lot of pressure put upon him uh, to reopen the government. Uh, this is also indicating him and his abuse of his position of power in shutting the government down in the way that he has. Um, Trump, again, is going to come off worse for wear here. This is the Eight of Swords and this is the self-imposed restrictions and isolations uh, and it is it is it is around the whole shutdown, um, you know. For those that are responsible, as I said last time I looked, he was the president of the United States. He won't sign the legislation, the bill to reopen the government. Um, he's going to become increasingly isolated on this. And really, at the end of the day, there's ruination here. But it's this card is not just ruination from for Trump. Unfortunately, this card is chaos for those that the government shutdown is affecting. Um, there could even be some, in between now and when the government reopens, there could even be some kind of incident, something that occurs that puts the spotlight, because remember I got the image of the eye, the penetrating eye on Donald Trump. There could This could be something that happens, some kind of um, trouble, shall we say, uh, that puts the spotlight on the government shutdown for Donald Trump and which provokes him to take the uh, take this this reduced offer here. Um, I'm heartfelt really sorry that uh, that America has got this uh, situation. Um, it's it's really quite um, worrying um, and distressing. However, um, in the previous reading, I saw that the government shutdown may go on for a few weeks. Uh, let's have a look. 
and see if uh, if if there's a long term. We'll just quickly ask this question: uh, Is there going to be? Is the government Trump has threatened to keep the government shut for months? And I think he even said years. But I mean that's just ridiculous. Um, are we looking at months for the government shutdown? Yes, no. Are we looking at months or are we looking at, for, at weeks? Are we looking at months here for the government shutdown? Are we looking at months for the government shutdown? Yes, no. Months, government shutdown. Okay, straight away, the Seven of Rods. This is battling. He'll be battling, battling to keep it shut. Secrets being revealed, the High Priestess, interesting card that we have pulled here because that's consistent with my other readings. Um, again, secrets are going to be revealed about what? Donald Trump's potential connection to the wall shutdown, theft, the theft card coming forward here, uh, the Emperor. Who's thieving? Who's abusing the Emperor? Who's the Emperor? Donald Trump. And temperance, okay, the need for balance, the need for balance is, uh, is going to be coming forward. So the need for temperance around this situation is coming forward um, from the universe pretty much. Um, so really hard work to, to keep it shut. Um, the Empress, I, I get as, as uh, in this sense, I'm, I'm getting um, in relation to the U.S., Pulling these major arcanas here. The truth, truth coming forward. Uh, and crossroads. Okay, so this is indicating a sort of like a line ball here. We've got um, the kind of things that move on the top here. We've got the kind of conditions that move situations forward. And on the bottom here, we've got the skullduggery. Um, but we've pulled the Two of Swords, which is indicating there's, you know, incredible forces uh, on Donald Trump here, um, the Ten of Pentacles and the, and the country. So I asked, would it be a matter of months? The answer here is no, um, it won't be months, which then uh, leads me to believe it's actually going to be weeks. So um, I'm going to leave that there. That's an update on my earlier reading. Some cards are, are very... Um, similar uh, so we've got some new information coming out around the the uh, the money that's attached to this wall the potential benefits for people uh, financially uh, in relation to the wall and why Donald Trump is pushing it so hard uh, potentially uh, benefits here for Donald Trump as we know he brought a business um, a business mindset to the role of presidency God help everybody but he did. Um, so let's see how things pan out. A couple of uh, things to watch for. Uh, perhaps some stories coming out in the mainstream media about who benefits from the wall. And secondly, potentially some sort of trouble in that tower card that may cause uh, uh, the end of a stalemate and this reduced proposal coming forward, which he will accept. So that's the reading. Again, the cards are just uh, uh, for guidance and reflection, um, and uh, and we'll see we'll see what happens uh, in terms of whether you know some or all or, or whatever is going to pan out the way that I saw it panning out as as we go on. I hope you enjoyed that, viewers. Thank you again.